finding emotion, a very deep emotion, out of love and torture and whatever it took, the deepest emotional forms in three or four dimensions is what's called sculpture. Years ago, an ardent collector named Louis Manilow invited sculptor Mark de Suvero to live and make sculpture on an expansive property south of Chicago, Illinois. Yes, for Lady Day, de Suvero's masterpiece was conceived and constructed on site and is the seminal work of the collection. I think that in order to do the best kind of sculpture that you're able to do, you have to respond to what the form suggests so that it's a back and forth thing with the sculpture. It's a dialogue. It's a dialogue with the sculpture is the dance that you do. Represented in almost every major contemporary art museum in the world, de Suvero's indefatigable work ethic continues to drive him. He visits the studio daily, making sculpture from tabletop to monumental in scale. His Yes for Lady Day was constructed of formidable materials, discarded steel I-beams, half-inch steel cable, and a split railroad tank car that dances with itself when moved by a child's insistent nudge. But where did the title come from? Let me see if I got the words. Uh... 